Now then, conditions such as osteoporosis and rheumatoid arthritis are debilitating and severely painful for sufferers. Over 400,000 people in the UK suffer with rheumatoid arthritis and 3 million people suffer with osteoporosis. Whilst there is prescription medication available to treat these conditions, the severe and dangerous side effects can deter sufferers from taking them, leaving many diagnosed with the condition endlessly suffering with symptoms and pain. Well, new research into, nat- into natural treatment alternatives have uncovered an extract in turmeric which can help relieve symptoms without adverse and dangerous side effects. So on the line now from Bioterm is Sufil Filiposi. Good morning. Good morning, Christine. Thank Good you for morning. having me. I'm really excited to be with you. Yes, well, I'm excited to find out more. Can you can you start by by telling us how many people are affected by by arthritis? Um, Christine, arthritis is one of the most common conditions that causes pain and inflammation in the body. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the numbers are slightly higher than what you've just said. It's unfortunately 10 million people who have arthritis or similar conditions. Um, it also affects people of all ages. However, the majority of the people are senior citizens. It also affects children. Um, there are 100 types of arthritis, but the two most common types are osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. What's the difference? Uh, rheumatoid arthritis actually affects uh, the, uh, the the joints, and osteoarthritis actually affects the whole bones as, as such. So it, it, it still affects the whole multi, um, you know, the, the skeletal system, but there's a slight, slight difference. And, and do you feel that these these conditions are not are not widely discussed? Christine, uh, it's human nature to only talk about it when it only affects ourselves personally. But there's a strong argument to be made that an awareness campaign should be prevalent because the long-term prognosis of arthritis is poor, uh, considering the number of people affected is on the rise. Okay. So you're here to talk about the benefits of this natural alternative that's found in, is it turmeric or turmeric? We've had this discussion in the office. Uh, Turmeric is the spice um, (laughs) that what makes curry yellow. Yeah. Um, um, what we're going to talk about is a, the active molecule or the active ingredient in turmeric what, that gives it the yellow colour. Um, it's really important to get the message across that this, the stuff that does what it does to the body is called curcuminoids. It's a group of molecules that uh, is an anti-inflammatory, the best anti-inflammatory as we know it um, today. Um, so... It, it's only 2 to 5% of the whole turmeric root. So you need huge quantities. For, for our extract, it's a gold standard extract, purely because we, we take 25 pounds of turmeric to extract one pound of curcumin. So you, you get the best out of uh, the whole extract, okay. which, which includes um, the essential oils of turmeric. Because I do know people who are taking turmeric, who are taking turmeric and adding it into their diet because they've got arthritis. But you're saying that this is a, a much more powerful. And um, the ter- turmeric, you, that you can't take enough turmeric. I would, uh, it would be, it, it would not be right to say ter- ter- turmeric in food is fantastic. But to get the best benefits of turmeric, you need to be eating it three times a day. With the Western diets that we have, you can't possibly get enough curcumin. As I said, there's only 3 to 5% of curcumin in turmeric. So you need to take a whole lot of turmeric for a long time to get the best out of it. And for that reason, I would recommend people still take turmeric, but supplement it with a, with a turmeric extract, okay. a curcumin extract. So, so we said that, 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 that there's dangerous side effects from taking some of the prescription medications uh, that are currently available. Are there any side effects from taking turmeric? Um, I just want to hit a point of uh, the side effects that currently um, are associated with the drugs that are currently prescribed. 
you probably know Glenn Frey, one of the lead, co-founders of Eagles, died in 2016 due to complications of arthritis drugs. And in 2017, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration received reports that more than 1,000 people died after taking a particular arthritis drug. Fortunately, that drug is not available through our NHS, so we're pretty safe. However, uh, what we have in offer is we personally have conducted a clinical trial where we showed that it reduced joint pain and swelling in patients better than diclofenac, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. And um, that is the hallmark of our extract. We, you, you will find hundreds of extracts available on the market, and most of the people selling this are based on the research that we have done. And Right, so what what do you recommend then as, 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 as the best thing to do for people who've got arthritis or, or rheumatoid arthritis? A healthy diet that is predominantly vegetarian, um, intermittent fasting, along with a turmeric supplement that contains essential oils of turmeric. It is really important to get that message because taking turmeric on its own will not will will help but to get the best benefits you need to supplement it with an active lifestyle with a healthy diet and exercise okay. so why do you recommend intermittent fasting what's that going to do intermittent fasting um the principles behind intermittent fasting is based on autophagy. Um, in 2016, Professor Yoshinori Yoshumi won the Nobel Prize for Medicine explaining the way autophagy, which is this the self-cleaning mechanism. On a cellular level, um, we have self-healing properties. Of you. The best way I can explain it, if you have a cut, within eight, a week or so, it'll heal itself. Our human body has innate capabilities of healing itself. And one of the reasons... Uh, intermittent fasting works is because you're giving the opportunity for the body instead of focusing of converting the the, fu- uh, the food that we have into energy it'll focus on um, fixing itself and intermittent fasting uh, the benefits start appearing after 14 to 15, uh, 18 hours of fasting so what I would advise if you can have a your dinner at 6 o'clock in the evening if you could skip breakfast and maybe have an, uh, an early lunch, maybe at 11, you will have enough time uh, to give the body time to repair itself. That's the best way I can explain it. Um, it's, it's a hack. It's a cheat. You, you're not, uh, you're not um, starving yourself, but you're still getting the benefits of fasting. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try that. So let's get back to turmeric. And uh, was it cur- cur- curcumin? Cur- curcumin is one of the active ingredients, but it's it's a bunch of molecules called curcuminoids, which includes the essential oils of turmeric. Okay. And can you use curcumin for anything else? We have done studies um, where we've done two studies uh, with people uh, with major depressive disorder and found it was equal to prescription drugs currently available on offer. Uh, we also done a small study on Alzheimer's for six months uh, with uh, Professor Ralph Martins, a recognized world leader in Alzheimer's research, along with the University of Hong Kong, and found that a very small do- a dose of curcumin stopped the progression of amyloid plaque buildup, which is a precursor to uh, Alzheimer's. However, it's, as I said, it's really important to get the message that turmeric on its own will give you benefits, but to get the best benefits you need to supplement it with a healthy lifestyle, which is a diet that induces ketosis and also uh, uh, intermittent fasting. This is just so interesting. Where can our listeners go for more information? Um, Biotherm um, is the name of the company. Uh, it's B-I-O uh, and T-U-R-M, a term for turmeric. Uh, we also just partnered with Amazon, so you could also find the information on Amazon. And uh, we're also in discussions with uh, most of the major um, supermarkets. Um, so watch the space. So it's bioterm.com. Bioterm.co.uk. .co.uk. Bioterm.co.uk. Uh, Sue Phil Philippos, thanks so much for joining us. That was, re- that was really interesting, that. Thank you. Christine, thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Me. Bye-bye Have a now. good day. Bye-bye. 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 The Mid-Morning Show.